the minivan. Not the most glamorous vehicle in the world, actually probably something that most people would say is the least cool car you can buy, but that's not really fair because minivans are so immensely practical and useful. They have to be. They have to transport families, children, cargo, and the minivans that have survived are so filled with luxury and technology that they rival most premium brands. We've been spending time with this all new 2022 Kia Carnival, which is actually advertised as an MPV, a multi-purpose vehicle, an alternative to the crossover and the SUV. V, but in reality, what it is is a really cool minivan, which is a statement that I never thought I would make. Kia provided me with the vehicle for this review, along with compensation for my time spent on this video. In terms of the powertrain, the Carnival comes with a 3.5 liter V6, making 290 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. That is best-in-class power, mated to a 8-speed automatic transmission and front-wheel drive only. And that exposes one little drawback with the Kia Carnival's powertrain. There is no all-wheel drive available, and there is no hybrid powertrain currently offered. There are some other competitors in this space that do have both of those available. That being said, 0 to 60 and 7.4 seconds seconds and it will do 0.87 G's on a skid pad which is a lot better than I expected. Fuel economy ratings are 19 city, 26 highway and 22 combined. In terms of exterior design, the Carnival is quite impressive. Bold and boxy SUV inspired styling. This was actually done in Kia's design studio in California where they also did the Telluride and the Sorento. And it's also the first all new Kia in America to have the new logo. The new badge is on the Carnival. Styling wise, it is definitely distinctive. It stands out, it's sharp. The first time I saw a Carnival was from a little bit of a distance, but I thought it was their new SUV. And later on when I found out that it was their multi-purpose vehicle, their minivan, I was like, like, wow, that looks really good. Not what you normally think minivans look like, much smoother and bubblier and kind of curvy. I mean, I drove a Mercury Villager in high school and that thing looked like a jelly bean. This is much more rugged and aggressive looking. It's gotten a lot of compliments, the Astro Blue paint, we've got the Tiger nose grill up front and these jagged DRLs that are really distinctive and unique and echoed on the tail lights too. And then coming around the side, we do have some gloss black accents on the wheels, on the mirror here, and then that would be the A, B, the C pillar here has this textured hexagonal trim that is really unique. It's really cool. It's got this kind of hexagon mesh that's 3D looking and also echoed on the dashboard itself. Overall, the styling of this Carnival is definitely not what you normally expect out of a minivan. It is unique. It looks sharp. It stands out. It's daring. And I'm a big fan of it. And now we're going to open the door because it is a minivan, which is a sliding rear door um, for the most impressive part of the interior, the second row seats. These are the second row VIP lounge seats in the Carnival. And they're not just captain's chairs where they're split. We've got these where we can pull and move the seat inboard or outboard. And then here we can go all the way back. And now you can see how much legroom I have. That's all the way back. And now even more so, we can recline the seats. As we hold another electronic button on the other side, you can see the entire seat rotating back. Okay, so that's pretty good. And now I want my leg rest to come out too. So we've got another button there and you can see the leg rest is coming out extension. Like we'll put down armrest, armrest. And uh, yeah, this is the luxury minivan experience. This is, this is crazy. And the headrests too have like the little side pieces that will curve out to cradle your head. This is unbelievable. This is in the backseat of a minivan. <laughs> Moving up from the second row up to the front, the driver's seat. We've got these 12.3 inch upgraded digital display screens for the center cluster and also your infotainment system. Very crisp and clear. They pretty much take up like almost half the dashboard with the landscape orientation. Standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I've got CarPlay plugged in there and running. And on your center cluster, this digital display screen has some really cool information and also uh, just nice touches. We've got this kind of view out of the sky and the road going out ahead of you. And as you approach dusk and night and sunset, it'll actually change the picture to reflect like the sunset. It's really, really pretty and a really nice touch. And I also just like how these new Kia digital clusters, kind of the screen fades out into the black of the actual surround bezel but these uh 12.3 inch screens are very nice and actually this layout is reminiscent of some the higher end luxury manufacturers and how they do their infotainment screens carplay is really well done it stretches across the entire screen there now this is a top tier sx prestige so fairly well optioned loaded up 
with heated and cooled front seats with heated steering wheel. Those second row VIP lounge seats are also heated and cooled. We've got sunroof up front, sunroof out back, some really cool technology too. If I go back to the Kia, we've got passenger view, which is there is a little fisheye lens camera there that will give you a live view of the second row. I guess you can put my hand back there and it shows up. It's a live view of the uh, both the seats currently fully reclined back. We've got things like passenger talk with using the microphone to project what you're saying here out back. Those rear entertainment screens that are fixed on the front Front seats can also project stuff forward and controls and things like that. Obviously, HDMI, it's got Netflix, Twitch, YouTube, all sorts of features. Moving on down through this center uh, console area, we have our climate control, um, actual toggles for the temperature, but the touch buttons for changing your airflow and things like that and air conditioning, I don't love because there's no feedback. There's no click. There's no vibrations. There's no feedback at all. So you're not sure if you actually hit it or not. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that, but then coming down here, we've got cup holders, some space. We got multiple USB ports. There's a lot of USB ports up front. We've got a wireless charging pad also option. The center one will do your uh, information like USB connection of that. The left and the right ones are just for charging for power. And then um, continuing for the non-parking brake drive modes, this minivan has a sport mode. Uh, I've been using normal most of the time. We've got normal, eco, sport, and smart. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go back to normal. We also have auto hold, which when you press that button, auto hold lights up in your center cluster. And when you come to a stop and you push the brakes all the way in, you can let your foot off the brakes and the vehicle automatically hold the brakes for you until you hit the gas again and it releases. Advanced driver assistant technologies, Kia's DriveWise system is uh, extremely competitive. And the list is so long that I really can't list them all right now because my brain just can't keep all the acronyms and the names. But if you were to look them up, you'll see it has things like uh, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, lane departure assist. We have a uh, stop and go highway drive assist too. So lane centering, um, it'll follow the distance. We've also got blind view monitor, which is something I really like. When you indicate left or right on this center 12.3 inch screen, it pops up a live camera feed with the side angle cameras of what's in your blind spot. So couple that with the fact that A, you're gonna use your eyes to go look, check your blind spot. You're gonna look at the mirror with the blind spot warning and then blind view monitor. It is really, really nice. Surround view overhead cameras has got all those features. When you go to park, it shows like where your wheels are turning and all sorts of things like that. Um, reverse collision assist, all these types of things that are both segment exclusive, standard, competitive, all the nice acronyms that describe how comprehensive the driver assistance suite is. And that's what you want with a modern vehicle like this, especially something that's going to be uh, transporting your family. You want the latest and greatest safety and driver assistance technologies. A couple other things with SX Prestige trim. We do have the upgraded Bose sound system. Um, really nice materials too. This Tuscan umber leather that's uh, across all the seats. That's pretty nice. I mentioned they're heated and cooled. Oh, also from the driver's seat, I can move the passenger seat. There's buttons here on the actual inboard side of the passenger seat. So like that's like VIP luxury, full-size luggage sedan feature. Like you have like a Maybach and you got somebody sitting in the back and they want to fully recline. So your chauffeur can just move the seat forward from the driver's side. Like when I saw that, I was like, oh wow, that's actually really cool. A um, couple panoramic sunroofs there. Uh, what else do we have? This interior trim, this textured kind of plastic metal looking that goes across the dash. It echoes what's on that C pillar on the outside, which is fairly nice too. Um, you, there's a lot of features in this vehicle, which surprised me. I mean, I haven't really spent much time in minivans outside of like a really cheap rental that pretty much had plastic on everything and no features whatsoever um, if we're on a trip or something. And I had a minivan in high school. That's what I drove, a Mercury Villager. This is a luxury experience. This is premium everything. The features, the technology, the everything about this thing is unmatched short of like luxury cars. I was blown away by, I mean, just those second row VIP seats. Wow. Driving wise, again, no, it's not going to be the most dynamic, especially compared to what I'm driving, right? Um, what I'm used to, but it, it handles itself quite well. Like I mentioned, it'll, it'll pull 0 0.87 G's on a skid pad, which to me is, I was like, wait, really? Um, front wheel drive only is a little bit of a downside. Now, um, do you need all wheel drive? No. If if front wheel drive and you have good tires and weather condition, things like that, you'll be able to handle it. I had driven front wheel drive cars um, when I was younger and my minivan was a front wheel drive minivan. But having all wheel drive is an added benefit and it would be a competitive feature set. 
it's pretty quiet. The tires uh, have a good amount of sidewall, so they're absorbing road imperfections and it rides pretty comfortably. And the only other thing is, I guess I shouldn't have been that surprised by the 0.87 G's handling. My uh, initial impression when I first started driving this was like, it actually handles the body roll quite well. It doesn't like wallow around like what you would expect a minivan to do. Um, the secondary motions were pretty well damped too. So like when you take a turn, it doesn't like rock back and forth. So from that perspective, um, driving the Kia Carnival is not a bad experience. I took this downtown for dinner last Friday and there was a big accident somewhere on the freeway. So there was my 45 minute drive became an hour and 30 minute drive. So uh, in traffic and stop and go and things like that, it was not objectable, non objectionable. I was not complaining all that much. I mean, nobody likes traffic, but doing it in this, it wasn't terrible. So in terms of value, this is the SX Prestige, which is the top tier trim. So therefore it is not cheap. This one as option is over $47,000. So we're talking almost 50 grand for a minivan. When I first saw that, I was like, whoa, that is a lot of money. I didn't realize they'd gotten this expensive. But then you look at some of the competitors and just how much it costs to get a vehicle like this now, and it's, it's comparable. And then you sit in the car and you drive it for a bit and you look and I've got heated and cooled seats, heated and cooled rear seats, heated steering wheel, all the driver assistance features, those VIP second row seats, immense practicality, the thir folding third row, something that will seat seven to eight people and have all these features, that's not bad at all. Now, a lot of things in this vehicle are, or they're segment exclusive, segment leading, power and uh, best in class power. So from that regard, I would say it's a quite good value. And I, I've been impressed. I'm telling you guys, this is a luxury vehicle experience and Kia's multi-purpose vehicle, their minivan. Some of the drawbacks uh, compared to the competitors, we do not have uh, complimentary service. It does have a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty, which is extremely impressive, but some competitors have complimentary service included. And also, like I mentioned at the very beginning, front wheel drive only, no hybrid powertrain, and it's uh, not forced induction either, no turbo application. So. The fuel economy is pretty good with plug-in hybrids. Some of the competitors do have an edge there and all-wheel drive, but I mean, getting to experience this, the fact that it doesn't look like a minivan, it's sharp, it's bold, it's aggressive. The interior experience is really impressive. Like this is a luxury car on the inside. Driving is not objectionable. Like I, I, I don't mind it at all. The tech is extremely impressive. Advanced driver assistance systems are very good too. Um, overall, I haven't had many complaints about driving this uh and then the interest expressed by other people people see it and go whoa that looks really good what is that that's a minivan that's not what a minivan is supposed to look like and then checking out the inside co-workers other people i mean i, I bring a lot of cars around and i uh, had a many people wanting to come check out the all-new kia carnival so i would say in terms of redefining the segment what this vehicle can be kia did a great job multi-purpose vehicle. If you're looking for something like this that will transport your family, uh, cargo, be practical, comfort, tech, luxury, all the things, check it out. Thanks again to Kia for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out my other video. I did a living with blog, the behind the scenes, more informal video too with this Kia Carnival. Thanks for watching.